Hello, I'm Joe Walensky and I'm the program manager for Seattle's annual user experience conference called Convey UX coming up February 27, 28, and March 1. And I'm talking with another one of our great speakers, uh, Melissa Brecker. Hello, Miss Melissa, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm great today. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm uh, speaking from my uh, home office on Vashon Island today. Where are you at? Uh, I'm I'm just up the street, actually. I'm in um, Vancouver, Canada. So not too far from you, but I guess far enough. Yeah, well, no, it's always a great place to uh, to go visit. It's relatively easy to travel there and always a lot of fun. Uh, well, uh, we're glad to uh, have you as one of our international contributors, even though it's so close. And uh, I thought we'd start with uh, you just talking a little bit about your background and the types of things that you're doing today. Sure, of course. So um, uh, I come from a, a content background. Actually, I started originally, I guess, 15 years ago in marketing. Um, and then I kind of transitioned into content. And I, I started to, people would ask me to create things for them. Like, oh, could you create a blog post? Or, um, you know, could you update this website for me? And I started to ask the question, why? Like, why am I doing this? And then that actually led me to, um, to kind of investigate user research, because if I could understand what the audience cared about, then I could do better work. Um, and then a couple of years ago, um, I actually, I was one of the co-founders of a content strategy agency, and it was very user research driven. So everything that we did was really based on uh, user research fundamentals. So, you know, we would do things like personas, but we'd do things like content driven personas. So different requirements for a different audience would have a niche almost within the niche. Um, and since then, I have been working with uh, government um, corporations plus nonprofits really to help them understand how can we create these better experiences and how can content and the work that we do as user researchers really build those great experiences. So uh, that's that's what I'm up to today. Well, uh, so as somebody who is is always doing a lot of different projects for uh, different clients, I'm sure you have a lot of uh, uh, new things happening uh, in your work life all the time. Is there anything uh, right now that uh, he has your uh, interest? Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, what I've what I've kind of noticed lately is that so many of the projects uh, are coming back to this idea around measurement and how can we start to measure things and how can we start to really explore those results. Um, and that, of course, has got me thinking about, well, uh, measurement's one thing, but um, taking action's that second part. So how do we start to get both of those pieces working together. So I've actually been exploring a lot around change management and communication. So because it doesn't actually matter, I don't know if you've experienced this, but so many, so many times I'm working with such a diverse team and people have such different perspectives. So if you kind of mash together different work styles, um, but you don't have the tools to help people communicate things, then it doesn't actually matter what we recommend. It doesn't happen. So, uh, you know, I've been exploring some of those things, like how can we do a better job, um, in, not only in terms of the research that we're doing, but how can we support people to start to make the transition? How can we make them um, understand the importance of change and how can we help them get going? So uh, that's actually part of what, um, that's what I've been exploring lately. Well, your uh, topic that you're going to present at the conference is titled Collaboration Through a Content Journey Approach. So uh, talk a little bit about how you came around to that topic and uh, what the attendees will learn from you. Sure. Well, uh, I've been working with a nonprofit now for a little over 12 months. And the first project I uh, started to work with them on was this idea of a content journey. So um, there'd been lots of changes in their environment and they, uh, you know, frankly, were uncertain as to, you know, how can we address these changes and what does that mean? Um, so I, you know, I, I took a, a very um, user-centered approach and I started to talk to different people, not only, um, you, you know, the prospective adoptive parents, which is 
um, who would be kind of being part of the service, but also people from uh, the Ministry of Family um, Development and, you know, what their needs were to kind of see, because the client's kind of right in the middle of it's, it's that perfect vortex of all of these amazing people trying to do good work. So um, really uh, looking at a customer journey, again, it's kind of taking a, even, a, even a smaller approach, like how can we use the information that we share to help people understand not only where they are, but how they can, you know, make a decision that's right for them. Um, and so I kind of hit on, again, you know, doing all this research about change, this idea around collaboration and how can we use something like a content journey to help support people. I thought that might be a good fit for Convey UX, which is why I thought I'd reach out. Well, I think it's, uh, it's a really fascinating uh, case study that you're bringing in. Uh, the domain is certainly something that, um, that I find to, very interesting, and so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so thanks a lot for uh, taking the time to uh, uh, speak with me today about this, and uh, we'll see you in a, just a couple of months in Seattle. I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing everyone there. See you soon. All right. Thanks a lot, Melissa. Bye. Okay. Bye.